Listen here, you lazy gits. I don't care what them new boys look like. You gits is still orcs. And orcs is made for fighting and winning. And you gits is still orcs. So get off your asses and get back to the scrap. Wah! Greetings, fellow gits. Welcome to the channel. I am the Git Man speaking. And welcome to this little showcase video of some orc boys. Yeah, more more orc boys because you can't have enough boys. There's no such thing as having enough boys in a wa. People who said there is such a thing, they're just lying. Because uh, they just want people to stop getting so many boys. But anyways, before we carry on with the video, I need to uh, make some confessions. Such as me not recording for quite a while. That's partly due to because I was just over in Seattle last week uh, visiting my dad. And I didn't bring anything over with me to record about. Uh, and also, I've been looking for a job lately. So, I've been uh, a bit busy with that. And also, I just finished up school. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, enough rambling, let's uh, get on with the video. And uh, we'll start with this, with this git. Now, these, uh, these boys, if they'll focus on the camera, these boys are just the regular standard Slugga and Choppa with a, a few modifications to them. Uh, this boy just has a tank buster bomb, some bullet loops, and an ammo, some ammo pouches, focus, some ammo pouches on his, on his arm, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's just short, short and sweet on this guy. And, uh, this boy right here, focus, he, uh, has a slight conversion right here. Uh, this slug arm is actually from... It was actually uh, that guy's slug of arm. What I did was just simply cut right, like, uh, right here with a hobby knife. And, uh, just, like, try and very carefully to cut the slug from its hand. And then I glued it to this arm after I'd uh, cut the slug on this hand off. And, uh, yeah, it looks very nice. And, uh, he looks very cool. Especially like his chain sword, with the way he's wailing it around. He's got some bullet loops in his arm, uh, an ammo clip, and two very spiky shoulder pads. And uh, yeah, he looks like a savage, as all these boys do, because they should look like savages. Now this guy, he's basically exactly the same as the first guy, with uh, the only difference being that he's got a very very grisly, grisly trophy there, in the form of a severed human head. And uh, I don't know where he got it from. He probably got it from an Imperial Guardsman or a Imperial Citizen that got in his way and he decided to stomp on them. Uh, yeah, he's basically the same. The uh, only other real difference is this massive shoulder pad with a skull stuck on the spike. And, uh, other than that, yeah. He also looks very cool. Mind you, all of these orcs do look very cool, in my mind. And, uh, here's another grizzly trophy in the form of another severed humi head. And, uh, well, yeah, it's just another human head. This guy looks especially cool, because the way he's just roaring out and taking a very threatening stance looks very cool. And also, in case his first chopper breaks, he's got two more choppers on his back in case the the problem for more close combat arises and he doesn't have his first chopper. And, uh, moving on to the next boy. Now this one, he actually is uh, the same as some box art. Um, on the back of the boy's box is this evil sun boy he is uh, basically the same as him. The only real difference is this shoulder pad is uh, from the knobs kit and not from the boys kit. But you know what? I really don't care. I still think he looks very cool the way he is. 
Okay. Yeah. And uh, next boy, you've got Focus, another Slugger and Choppa. Now this uh, Slugger right here, I actually used a hobby knife and cut the magazine, the original magazine, off and replaced it with the, the one that's stuck on it right now. Yeah, and uh, that's really the only conversion he's got. He's got a jaw piece for more protection and uh, a bag of stick bombs because we all, we all love stick bombs around here. And, uh, yeah, we've got a, another another boy here. He, uh, is not the leader, if you're wondering, because, uh, most orc mobs will have this one boy in particular, uh, with a giant pole on his back. Well, this is not the leader. None of these guys are the leader. They're just all regular boys. And, uh, I quite like the look of him as well. He, uh, looks like he's bracing himself for a charge. While also raising his chopper, ready to hit whoever decides to charge into him. He's got a, a stick bomb and two massive shoulder pads on his shoulders. And uh, yeah, he looks very cool. And next, we've got a rocket launcher. Now... This rocket launcher that this guy is holding isn't actually from the boys kit, it's from the Ludus kit. Now, uh, I can't really describe what that is to those of you who don't know, because uh, then this video will be a lot longer than it actually needs to be. But uh, it's basically the same as the regular rocket launcher, with the only difference being the rocket head. And uh, yeah, I think it looks very nice. It's also the first time I've actually added on this... Uh, shield plate thing i don't know what it's called and, uh, i think it looks very cool it also has a crosshair eye for some more accuracy but uh again we all know that uh orcs aren't renowned for their marksmanship now this boy he especially looks very threatening he's taking a big stride into battle while wailing his chain sword in front of him He's got uh, some bolt loops in his arms, and you know, that's about it. He also has a, a nice hair squig with a skull stuck on it. And also, he's, uh, he's also missing an eye, which is... Uh, this guy right here is also missing an eye. I, for, I forgot to mention that, but oh well. And next, we got a big shooter boy. Now, this big shooter that he is carrying is from the same kit as that rocket launcher. And uh, so is this backpack with the little grot, with his little grot companion sticking out of it. And uh, there's no, no else real, nothing really serious about like conversion wise. He's got some uh, expended bullet casings on his base and uh, some more on his in coming out of his shooter. He also uh, this bullet belt or this uh, ammo belt rather. Is actually supposed to be a bit longer. I just cut where that other bullet belt is, and uh, like there were four more bullet loops that were supposed to come down, but I decided to cut those off to make the belt look a little bit shorter. Like he actually is firing a lot of ammo. And uh, lastly, we've got this boy right here. Now, um, I quite like the look of him. He looks like a, he's striding in a very threatening stance. With this uh, chopper raised, ready to deliver a killing blow. And uh, he's got an orc skull on his base because orcs don't care who gets in their way. They'll fight anybody, even each other. He's got a boss pole and two shoulder pads. Now the one on the left is actually a jaw piece. Because uh, it actually looks very nice on his shoulder. And uh, I think it looks better on an orc's shoulder than it does on their face. And uh, this saw blade arm is actually from the knob skit. So is the jaw piece. And uh, I think it just adds a bit more brutality to, to this guy. Which I think it should. Because uh, orcs should look as brutal as possible. Even if it's just a standard rank and file. 
But, uh, yeah, those are, those are the ten, no, eleven, eleven boys, eleven boys. And, uh, yeah, let me, do, let me know what you guys think of, uh, of these boys, because I think they look very cool. If you think that they look like absolute crap, go ahead and share down in the comments. Uh, any opinion on them is welcome. And, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I can't promise I'll be making a whole lot more since I'm going to be working very soon. But, uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.